Hi, this is Swati. And in today's video, we will see a very, very important question, which you will definitely get in your board exam. So this is the question from chapter one, real numbers of class 10th. Prove that root two is irrational. So to prove these kind of questions, whether you have root two is irrational, root three, root five, prove them as irrational. The procedure is same. All the steps are same. So if I just tell you one question, you will be able to do any kind of question that comes in your exam. So here we will first assume that let root two is rational. So we will assume that root 2 is rational number. You know that rational number is in the form of p by q. So let us take that root 2 is equal to a by b. Because you know rational number is in the form of a by b or p by q where the denominator is not equal to 0. Alright. So here where a and b are co-primes. What do you mean by co-primes? Which has only one common factor. All right, root 2 is equal to a by b. Now, if I transpose b to the other side, it becomes root 2 b is equal to a. So here I am going to square on both the sides. So let me write squaring on both sides. So here squaring on both the sides, root 2 square is 2, b square is equal to a square. So 2b square is equal to a square. So here, what does this mean? This means that 2 is divisible by a square. Also, 2 is divisible by a. So here, how can I write this? Because 2b square is equal to a square. So 2 is definitely divisible by a square. And 2 is also divisible by a from theorem 1.3, which I have already explained you in my previous video. So if p is divisible by a square, p will also be divisible by a. So the th same theorem is applied here. All right. Now let us take, let c be any integer. Okay, c is an integer. So, I can take a is equal to 2c. Let me take a is equal to 2c. Now, here again, if I square on both the sides, squaring on both the sides will give me a square is equal to 4c square. Okay, a square is equal to 4c square. But, we know from this that a square is nothing but 2b square. So instead of a square, I can write 2b square is equal to 4c square. 2b square is equal to 4c square. This can be cancelled. 2 ones are 2 twos are. I get b square is equal to 2c square. Again, the same thing. This and this b square is equal to 2c square. From here, again, I will write that. 2 is divisible by b square. Also, 2 is divisible by b. Again, using the theorem 1.3, which I have already explained. Now, using these two equations, first and second equation, I can now see that 2 is a factor of a and 2 is a factor of b. 2 is a factor of a and b. But what did we assume? We clearly assumed that a and b are co-primes which has only one common factor. One common factor is the number 1 itself. But here we have more than one common factor which clearly states that what we have assumed is not right. It is contradicting our statement. What was our statement that root 2 is rational? So it is not true. So from this we can write that root 2 is irrational. So if root 2 is 
not rational, it will definitely be an irrational number because the statement that we assumed, we have proved it as wrong statement. I hope you have understood the video. So uh, in the first attempt, I'm definitely sure that you will be confused that there are so many steps here. How do we remember? But if you go and practice this like once or twice, if you go and write it in your paper like once or twice, you will definitely understand each and every step. And all the questions are similar. Prove root 3 irrational, root 5 irrational, root 7 irrational. Be it any number, the procedure is as same as this one. So I want you to practice this one. And because this is a definite question in your board exam. I hope you have understood the video. Thank you.